In this video, we will show you how to disassemble, replace the components and reassemble the PowerStroke 7.3 injector using the tools made by Radat SPA and the test on the Hartridge test bench. We start the procedure by removing the O-rings with the hook tool 4021678. Then we place the injector in the tool 4021010 tightened in the vise. Using the insert 4021008, we remove the four solenoid screws. To prevent the rotation of the plate during the tightening, Use the tool 4021170 while we remove the plate screw with the insert 4021007. Afterwards, with the insert 4021 098, we remove the four screws of the adapter. Using the tool 4021169, it is possible to extract the bush from the adapter. We place the injector in the 4021015 jig, tightened in the vise. With the tool 4021010, we proceed to the removal of the nozzle nut, followed by all the other components. With the extractor 4021175 or 4021942, it is possible to remove the piston from the injector body. Now the injector is completely disassembled. We proceed to careful cleaning with check and replacement of any worn component. We recommend replacing the damaged parts and those which are subject to wear, like the gaskets, springs, valves, piston, 
plunger, solenoid, nozzle bush, and nozzle. Please refer to the RADAT website for a complete list of the spare parts and calibration shim kits in our range. We now place the injector body in the 4021682 tool, tightened in the vise. We proceed by mounting the piston, which is lubricated with some diesel fuel so that its gasket is not damaged during insertion in the body. When mounting the plunger assembly, it is advisable to apply workshop grease to the pins 1208998 so that they do not fall off their seats. We then mount the valve kit 1211915. If you do not use a pre calibrated nozzle group supplied by Radat, it is necessary to calibrate it using the Radat pins and spring supports. When mounting the nozzle group, it is advisable to apply workshop grease to the pins. 1209004 so that they do not fall off their seats. Using the tool 4021293, we proceed to the assembly of the nozzle nut, compressing the nozzle so that the pins 1208998 enter their seats correctly and do not break when the nozzle nut is tightened with a torque of 105 newton meters. With the insertion cones in the toolkit 4010957, it is possible to fit the split ring and O-rings. We place the injector in the tool 4021010, tightened in the vise. We proceed by mounting the valve 1208984 and the other components. The movement of the valve 1208984 is calibrated using the shims in the Radat kit 1210635. Thank you. 
using the insert for 021098, we tighten the four screws of the adapter to 7 newton meters. With the tool 4021016, the valve 1208984 can be rotated in the correct position. To prevent the rotation of the plate during tightening, we use the tool 4021170. Using the insert 4021007, we tighten the plate screw to 2 newton meters. We calibrate the distance between the plate and the spacer using the Radat Shims Kit 124264. Finally, using the insert 4021008, we tighten the four solenoid screws to 3 newton meters. The injector is now completely reassembled. We will now demonstrate the testing of the Power Stroke 7.3 injector on the Hartridge test bench. We mount the injector in the corresponding adapter on the Hartridge test bench. Through the touchscreen, the make and model of the injector can be selected, and by pressing start, all the tests are performed automatically. After each test, each entry is shown in green or red based on the positive or negative outcome and by pressing the test icon, the details can be viewed on screen. All our videos can be seen on our YouTube channel and for more information, we invite you to visit our website www.radas.com and to contact our sales offices.